uh, let us come back and see the next set of questions based on the electronic configuration. Now, I am I have shifted to a question which where I am going to relate ionization and enthalpy in electronic configuration. So, what did we learn? We have in D block elements where uh, the general configuration is Ns and N minus 1 D, right? Right. So, where is the electron entering every time? The electron is entering into the D shell, that is why it is called the D block element. Now, they have asked me to reason it, uh, relate your ionization enthalpy with electronic configuration. So, what is ionization enthalpy? The amount of energy required to remove an electron from the outermost shell. Simple. That means you are going to remove an electron from the NS uh, subshell and they are asking us to give the reason. Now, they said, give reason why IE1 for zinc and copper. Why is zinc having more IE1 than copper? Okay, let us see with the configuration. Now, they have asked me to compare between zinc and copper. Zinc and copper. Let us write the configuration. So, <coughs> zinc the configuration belonging to 3D series, 3D10 and 4S2. So, 3D10 and 4S2. When I come back to copper, copper is here, the configuration... <coughs> The configuration here is 3D10 4S1. So, here it is 3D10 4S1. Now, which is fully filled? Yes, yeah, when I compare both here, this is fully filled. First, most important thing is it is fully filled. When it is fully filled, isn't it stable? Yes, it is highly stable. When it is highly stable, <coughs> what will happen to the ionization enthalpy? Obviously, I require a lot of energy to remove the electron from that stable configuration. So, automatically, IE1 is higher for zinc. So, this is the main reason which you have to write. So, once it is fully filled, very difficult for me and I have to apply a lot of energy to pull that electron. Hence, Zn has higher ionization enthalpy than copper. Okay, reasoning is nice. Now, let me come back and give the same in other way. Now, we are talking about IE2. When do we call something as IE2? When I have already taken out one electron from the valence shell, I call it as IE2. Now, let us take out one, one electron from copper and one electron from zinc. Again, I will write the configuration. Now, Zn <coughs> configuration is 3D10 4S2. Copper configuration is 3D10 4S1. Now, this is second ionization enthalpy. Second ionization enthalpy means it should be Zn. <coughs> if I have to say Zn plus 2, yes. Now, okay, one electron I have to take because only one ionization enthalpy from here till here, isn't it? Zn plus 1 and Cu plus 1. Because only one, after removing one, then you will remove the second one, isn't it? So, one electron. So, when it is, when I am removing one electron from where should I remove? Should I remove from here or here or here? I have to remove from here. So, this becomes 4s1. Now, for copper, one electron I have to remove. This becomes 4s0. Now, see, compare the stability between two. This is fully filled. Yes. Now, this is completely stable compared to this because there is one half filled electron there. So, now you will write your reason. This is fully filled stable configuration hence ie2 is higher that's it simple how, how did i reason i just wrote answer to the question given to me this three things will completely explain the answer don't try to write big big stories in the paper you will not be able to complete the 70 marks paper done so simple both the things finished now let me explain explain why transition elements have most irregular irregularities okay explain why transition elements have many irregularities in configuration that is your question in configuration why is it so now let us see. I have marked so many irregularities here. Irregularity, this one again, this, 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 this. Why is that irregularity? Okay, let us see the answer. Now, when I have to see, write the answer for this. First, try to write the uh, general configuration because they have not asked specifically this particular series, isn't it? So write generally the general configuration for this is n is <coughs> zero to two, n minus one, d one to ten. Now, what's happening? Why is it showing the difference? Because the energy difference between Ns and Nd is very less. That's why the electron which is entering, you know, it can either enter into Nd or it can enter into Ns also. Means it will enter the first into this, then it will come into S also. Means the possibility of entering the electron into Ns and N minus Ns and N minus 1 uh, D is easy. Because why is, why is it? Because the difference of energy level. 
the electron can easily excite to that state. So, the difference of energy level is very less in the D block elements. So, they show variable oxygen, variable electronic configuration. So, let us write energy difference, energy difference between Ns and N minus 1 D, right, is very less. So, the electron can enter into both. Hence, we show variable electronic configuration. Hope you understood. Let us meet again next question.